Hi everyone, it's Deborah Fay here from Disruptive Publishing with this week's blog and this week I'm talking to authors and advising them not to try to be all things to all people. So this particular blog is for authors who want to write a non-fiction book where they can turn their experience and their expertise into a tool that will help people. So that's most of the people that I tend to work with. So many author, authors, they, they agonise over who their target reader is because they genuinely want to help people. And they are afraid that if they choose too specific a group, they will miss out on reaching a whole lot of other people who would really benefit from what they have to share. And that really is a fair and just concern. If you haven't already tried, you know, to um, nut out who your ideal reader is, you'll soon find out how difficult it is to choose a specific niche. Amongst other things, there is a whole lot of FOMO that goes on, and rightfully so. So this particular blog is all about saving you a lot of time in procrastination and languishing in indecision instead of getting your book written and published. I really want to inspire you to get your book written and published. So what exactly am I talking about when I say don't try to be all things to all people. Essentially, I'm talking about not trying to please all people because in the same way that if you try and please everyone, you end up pleasing no one. If you try and write to everyone, you will connect with no one. And I've written previously about this in my blog. Readers are looking for connection and they are looking to be moved. As much as we might all be alike and ultimately have the same needs for love and connection, we are all very different and we want what we want for different reasons based on a range of different experiences. We are all unique. So when someone is trying to help us with a generic message, we don't hear it and we can't connect with the message or the author because the message is for everyone else out there and we're not everyone else. We're just not. So while we're afraid to choose a specific group of people to write to, as authors, what happens is actually the opposite to what we're afraid will happen. In fact, more opportunities will actually open up for you as an author and as a speaker, if you trust me on this. I think essentially it comes down to what we refer to as the know, like and trust factor. And our language and our experiences, they convey a manner or a way of being that not everyone is going to relate to or be able to connect with. Not everyone's going to know they need you for starters unless you spell it out for them. And not everyone is going to like you. They're not going to like your style, like your attitude, like your look, like the way you talk or like your approach to what you're writing about. So what can you do about this? The solution is to write for a really specific audience using their specific language, their specific experiences around their specific problems. Start with the most obvious group of people to write for, and that's probably people just like you five or ten years ago. Then if you feel another audience can actually benefit from your experience and your expertise and you feel you know them and their unique sets of challenges well enough, then write for that audience too. So that means you are specifically engaging one group at a time which means the potential is there for you to write many more books, attract more speaking engagements and help more people. And isn't that ultimately what you're hoping to achieve, to help more people? If you want to know more about writing and publishing a book, I encourage you to download our free ebook, Seven Things an Author Must Know About Writing and Publishing a Book Before They Take the Plunge. And if you want to take a look at our author community, the Authorpreneurs Bootcamp, where we teach authors everything they need to know about writing and publishing a book, follow the link below. We'd love to have you join us. That's it for this week. I look forward to talking to you in the blog next week. Bye for now.